All right, guys, a few people have been asking about different attachments for the massage guns and which ones to use in different areas. So I'll give you a quick brief of um, what I use it for and what I think is best to use each um, attachment for different areas. So this is one that we've got a big ball and a small ball. Now, to be honest, these are the things that I use the most. Really versatile. You can use them, obviously, straight on, on the side slightly. Um, it's just a really good all-rounder. Obviously, slightly smaller area, a large area. Then we have the bullet, so a nice small uh, bullet, as you can see. And um, now with this one, obviously it's a little bit more pinpoint, a little bit more targeted. So if you uh, have any sort of trigger points, uh, any areas that are really kind of stiff, sore, um, you may want to use this and get right stuck in there. Um, so it's a little bit more targeted, a little bit more targeted area. Um, I would use this on, I use this on my calf, I actually use this on my glutes. Um, glutes are big muscles, and now with that, just means that it's quite hard to actually um, sort of penetrate with maybe the ball. Um, yes, you're getting all around, but if you want to kind of get hit a certain particular area, the bullet is really good. The flat head, so you can see that there, the flat head. Now with the flat head, I like to use this actually on my shoulders. Um, again, this is now, if you look at the big difference there, the surface area, it's a little bit more like, a, a, Think this one's a bit more like an actual massage because we're not going directly we're just kind of palpating the area so palpating the area just trying to increase the blood flow and um, i don't usually use this with high speeds again i usually use this one with lower speeds um, and i use this quite a lot on my traps as well as this one now this one um you can see as i press it it comes in and out it's got a little bit of a gap there. So if you want to use it on some sensitive areas, areas that you maybe, you know, just up and down here, your neck, um, up and down your traps, um, somewhere that might be, you might have like a, an injury maybe, uh, but you still want to try and increase the blood flow in that area. Using this, it's a little bit less targeted. It takes a little bit of pressure of when you're actually using the machine and you're using the, the massage gun. Um, it's not as intense, so that's a good one. And then we have our last one, which is like the fork. Um, here with this one, all we do with this one is um, you can use it in between your back, the, your spine goes in the middle and you go up down the side. Now you have two muscles that walk, uh, go intertwine up the side of your back. Um, this would be really good for that, so either side of your spine, this would be really good uh, for there. Again, you can use it on different areas. You can, again, you can use it on your traps, you can use it on your arms. I know people use this on the forearms like so. And um, so we use it here. Again, it just means that you've got two points of contact. So if you find somewhere that you might need two points of contact, uh, I have had people use it up and down the side of the calves, up and down the lower end near the Achilles, it can be really nice. So that's a quick breakdown of how to uh, use each different, uh, each different attachment and each different head for your massage gun.